This is our Rope Toe 2.0. Uh, we have an old video up of a very simple one. This one is less simple and can haul a lot more. Um, just I'll give you guys a quick rundown and then hopefully you'll get a shot of some skiing in here and you can see how the rest of it looks. Uh, basically the whole base is tied to a tree. That is all you really need if you can manage to get your strap or come along or chain or whatever in line with your rope. Because that way the tension's pulling straight down the line and it should be okay. This is on a, we used two chunks of C-channel because it's what we had, um, some sketchy welding to hold it together. Bolt it to the base to get it off the ground and to keep it from flipping. For power, we have a three wire 240 volt coming out of the shop there. So uh, ideally for what I have set up, a four wire system would be better, but that's not what we had and cable is expensive. So we have a three wire coming out here, uh, 30 amp. Power's feeding in. I'm not gonna open this box up for you guys, but I will explain what's going on. There is a 240 volt contactor. Now the uh, switch circuit or trip circuit, it's basically a relay if you're no automotive wiring, but it's 120 volt on the, uh, the trigger circuit. I don't know. But the point is I pulled power off of one leg of the 240 volt and I kind of did uh, like a bootleg neutral just using the ground. Um, I don't know, probably don't do that. It's up to you. If you could get a four wire with a neutral, it'd be way better. But then what we did is we pulled a 120 volt circuit off of that. And so this is a, kind of a sketchy power outlet, but it does work. Um, off of that single leg of the 240 volt, we put on a five amp little uh, push button reset so you can't pull too much and get the system way out of balance. But the 120 volt circuit, uh, same trip wire system as we had before. It's just an extension cord and it uh, runs to a stop button or a mercury switch for a trip gate, whatever you want. In this case, we have it running over to the trip gate here. And you can actually hear the contactor connect when it uh, goes on. So inside this box is a mercury switch. And then when the trip gate goes up, you can hear it running. So, uh, there's a 240 volt switch on the motor case itself. Turn that on. I know it's upside down, turn it on. And then whatever your safeties you have, you could have five stop buttons, whatever in series, 120 volt. Uh, this is a 120 volt mercury switch. So you turn it on, the rope will start moving when the contactor closes. And then when the trip gate is activated, somebody comes too far, close to the pulley, it shuts the rope off. So all this is inside of here is, a, I believe it's a two horsepower we got going now. So we have a two horsepower old brick of a motor. Uh, all the starting capacitors and everything are contained in here. We have a one to one ratio coming across and this is a 10 to one reducing gearbox. This is from Princess Auto. If you're in the States, it's going to be like Harbor Freight. Pretty cheap. This is like 160 bucks. Motor was, I don't know, call it a garage sale find. It is uh, cheap, but they're not free for buying new, obviously. This is two horsepower, uh, essentially 1800 RPM, 1740. So if you go 1800 RPM motor, 10 to one reducer, and I believe this is an eight inch yeah, it's an eight inch steel sheave. If it's a five eighths rope, okay. It's just a V-belt sheave, shiv, whatever, pulley. Um, five eighths poly rope does work pretty well. We've been using it for years. We just extended the lift line this year down into the trees there. And it, uh, you know, it's been working fine for us. It's a bit of a hard grip for some people. The five eighths rope, bigger would be easier. Handles would be easier, but at this speed, it's a little aggressive to have a handle on there. Um, if you can imagine a T-bar or a Palma lift, the T-bar is gonna have a bit more give because the cable comes out, but uh, Palma lift would be about the same. So at this speed, it's a, it's a lot to grab onto a moving handle. Um, but yeah, we'll get a video of this actually in operation so you can see us go up the lift at some point here and I'll put it all together. 
All right, at the bottom of the lift, uh, we will do a quick shot of the bottom. So we have our rope going uphill. That one over there, let's go downhill. We have an offset pulley, another offset pulley, and we have a come along that we're using for tension. And apparently the dog knocked over the trip gate. So my wife's starting to back up. There we go. Funny guy. Okay, yeah, we have a come along down there for tension. And then you just grab onto the rope down here. And it pulls you up the hill. With a rope like this, it's a good idea to use some leather gloves because everyone lets it slide a little bit at some point if you're not gripping too hard. Uh, the problem being you will destroy nice mitts because they usually have a soft palm. We just have the adult skiing right now. The kids were out yesterday, but they're on the GT. There's the garden. We got to get rid of some stuff next winter, but that's okay. Ideally, we'll clear out some more trees and have a little bit more skiing for the kids to play on. This is just a little bit steep here. Not bad, just a bit of a shot down into the bottom, but that's all right. And that's a full lap. Along this row of trees is the, the road in. Phase three kind of thing. Hopefully eventually we can get, uh, I'll get a little more of this groomed so the kids can play in this trees down by the well. And that little offshoot there actually goes over to the uh, field, the farm field over there. So it'd be nice if we could run a lift from there all the way up to the top. And then as long as we keep enough snow over the gravel road, we would be okay to ski between the two lifts. Maybe a bit of a backhaul and we could go to the top of that lift up there, which is, you know, way up there. And you come down here, ski down to the well, jump on a lift, let it haul you back up there. But uh, for now, we're just gonna use this one and maybe we'll build a gas lift or something similar later in life. But uh, it's plenty of fun.